we've had a pretty nice little afternoon. Not any huge fish, but what we've got is excellent table fare. It's a channel cat. I'm gonna show you how I fillet channel cats. Doesn't mean it's the best way in the world, it's the way it works for me. Um, there's gonna be other people say, do it different. This is how I do it. It's very simple. I get off the fish what I enjoy eating. Start right back in here. You'll feel a rib cage. I start about right there at an angle. Go straight down. Right along that back. Flip it over. Start right here. Go right between the meat and the skin. Right there. Got a little skin there, we'll trim that off. Is what I like to eat off channel cat. I'm gonna show you a couple other things you can do if you think I'm wasting some meat. But um, then we're gonna soak them overnight. There is a little meat right back here. If you wanna go through the trouble, I'll show you why I don't. But if you do, this is how I do it. You'll see where that muscle runs right up behind the head. Make a little cut, go in between the skin, make a circle, make one little cut here, and that'll come out. That's what I left on the fish. Now, if you look at this in a little better light, there's some fat, undesirable meat. You can try soaking it. I trim it up. You don't have much left to eat. What I keep is what is delicious. There's no meat on these ribs. And I, on Channel Cat, I don't keep the bellies. Um, flathead, I do. Do the same thing, repeat the process the other side. Go right down to that backbone. Follow it, flip it, just follow on that skin, right there is the best piece of meat you can get off that fish. That red line right there that I left, it's not edible, that's how. I clean catfish, channel cats. This eating size right there. Very simple, a little bit of practice. You'll be really good at it. Like I said, I avoid this here, a lot of fat. Not a desirable piece of meat for me. That's how we do it, very simple. All right, we, um, Talked to you the other day, showed you how to fillet a fish, how I fillet for catfish, me and Gail. We've let our meat have a 24 hour soak, and I'm going to show you what I do to these fillets and um, before we get ready to freeze them or fry them. Here's a real nice fillet. You can see a lot of that pink soaked out right down here through the middle we've got some pinkish reddish meat i cut all that out really in the it doesn't have good flavor pretty simple on the back side here there's a little bit of fat and i trim that out There we go. Nice little catfish fillet. We'll do this other one. We've got that red trimmed out of the middle. It looks pretty good. No fat in there. Fillet number two. I'm going to show you one with a little more red meat in it that we like to trim out. And I'll um, show you how I do that. Here's another nice fillet. There's that stuff right in the middle. I just cut a little V. 
And if you look at this, there is about a sixteenth of an inch of that red. I just come in here very lightly. Trim that off. There's a little more of that yellow fat. I just don't care to eat it. I'm not saying you can't. There you go. A couple more fillets. I'll do this one just to show you again. Good sharp knife really helps when you're trimming that little bit of red off. Here again, you can see a little bit. I just kind of get my knife started and press firmly on that red. There we go. That stuff, so as you can see, it's about a sixteenth thick. Hopefully you can see that. Trim again on these edges, a little of that fat. There you go. Any questions you have, put them in comments. Gail and I will get back with you. Um, this is how we do it. Have a great day.